I want everybody from now on to address me as the two-time Retro Bowl champion. You can call me two-time for short. We are back with the 49ers. If you guys haven't checked out the Retro Bowl finals, make sure you guys go do so. Uh, this is a big video. We have some important roster moves we need to make. We need to construct a team that can go back to back. Here was my season review. Okay, I was a plus 94. I'm kind of nice at this game. What else we got? B-Hall and Trust Tom. Look at that, man. Those stats are absolutely insane. But let's press continue here. Your reputation is widely acknowledged within the game. I know. A two time. I I I'm acknowledged. Who wants me? You know what I'm saying? Cincinnati doesn't want me. They don't want me back. What? Literally three star. Man, I wasn't going to go back anyways, but still, I I'm... I'm a little disappointed. Okay, we're rejecting y'all, man. We're running it back with the 49ers. A new season begins. Hugh Jackson's contract has expired. He has left the organization. Okay. Not gonna lie to you guys. I didn't check my coaches. I actually, I, I kind of wanted to keep it. Well, let's press continue. My stadium has declined. Ha. Team morale declined a little bit. During, what? Why? We won the Retro Bowl. What? I, I, you know what? Whatever. But here we go, guys. Some roster moves have to be made right here. I've been talking with my staff, with the owner, with everybody involved in the Niners organization. And I've also had a conversation with Mingo himself. Laramie and I, you know what I mean? We had a meeting. He came into my office and he stated that he was discontent with the team. He came up to me and said, I've thrown 62 touchdowns, 5,550 yards. Why am I still being judged whether or not I should be staying on this team in the Retro Bowl Finals? You know what I said? I said, shut up. I make the decisions around here. You know what I'm saying? Not you. Yeah. Sugma. He's unhappy with the organization. I'm unhappy with him. We're going to initiate a sign and trade with this guy. I'm not giving him the freedom of picking his team in free agency. All right. He pissed me off. Plus I can pick up an extra pick. He wants $35 million. We're going to need that cap space for our new draft picks. So we're going to sign him and then we're going to trade him. All right. So there you go. Mingo's back on the team. B Hall. Come on now. This is a given. Another one year contract. I'm getting scared. He might retire soon. This is a no brainer, man. Seven mil is an absolute bargain. B Hall. Welcome back to the squad. So we're letting him go. Let's see who wants him. Houston wants Mingo. We're letting him go, man. This gives us an opportunity to look for our very own franchise QB in the upcoming draft. So Laramie, thank you for your services. I didn't really like your attitude, but you won me a Retro Bowl. You're a Retro Bowl winning QB, all right? Go enjoy your time in Houston. Here we go. We're moving on. Oh, God. Pringle's pissed. Pringle was not happy with that move, all right? But without further ado, let's get into the draft, all right? I am not a good drafter. I did some research the other day. My past first round picks have been Neiman, Taj Zeitler, which was pretty good, and Wosu which was pretty good as well. Gallup, which was also pretty good. Wait, hold on. Wait, I might be nasty. And then Hakeem Walton, obviously, which, you know, we all know how that's going. I've also talked about this with Booty. I think we need another D lineman. Because let me explain to you guys. All right, Walton, we, know, we all know his struggles. He's more of a D lineman that's like that. You know what I mean? So to complement that, you know what I'm saying? We need somebody who... So we're also looking for a D lineman, and then I think I'm gonna take best player available. We have three first round picks, a second and a third. Another thing I have to say before the draft is I am introducing a new rule. I think this will be good for the draft and for future drafts. We are not allowed to scout any players. Because I think scouting the player makes it a little unfair. You know, you can kind of see who is gonna be good, which isn't the point of the draft. You know what I mean? There's gotta be some ambiguity. A ambig ambigu am ambiguity? Ambig ambiguity. Am ambiguous. You guys know what I mean, all right? But let's get into the draft. Whoa! Whoa! There he is! Amadi! Amadi! JJ Amadi! He's the first player on the board. He's right there! Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me chill. Let me take a look at who else is in here. Okay, there's no four-star player, which I don't like. Ooh, Spriggs? Hello? Quattro Spriggs! Wait a minute, we got a QB competition! We think two QBs? Do we sit one like he's Jordan Love? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, okay, okay. K K Kiaris Edmonds. This guy's a treadmill machine. Okay, wait, hold on. He might be that speed rusher that I'm talking about. Kiaris Edmonds. Okay, we don't need a receiver. Don't need a tight end. Don't need a running back. We need a quarterback for sure. Let's get that pick out of the way. It's either Quattro Spriggs or JJ Amadi. See, I wish I could scout player here. I don't know who to go with. Wait a minute. I didn't see my man Jordan. Is that Michael Jordan? Who is this? Cameron Jordan. I genuinely didn't see him right there. Cameron Jordan. Whoa, okay, this is a big decision. Man, okay. Okay, arm strength. He's got low arm strength. They all have pretty low arm strength. He's got really good throw accuracy. Spriggs does not have any of those. Spriggs has speed though. Jordan has max stamina, which is kind of nuts. And after contemplating this decision for over five minutes and 37 seconds, 
Alright, I think I've made my decision. With the first pick in the Retro Bowl draft, the San Francisco 49ers select star franchise quarterback, Quattro Spriggs, baby! Quattro Spriggs, get on the squad! Oh god, I'm scared, I'm scared. What overall is he? What overall? Oh, okay, he's got four and a half star potential. That's pretty good. Okay, okay, we didn't fumble. We didn't fumble. We didn't fumble. That was actually really nice. I'm just a QB guru. I just know my QBs, guys. Cuatro, all right? 21 year old rookie. Welcome to the squad, Cuatro. Welcome to the squad. Back to round one. We have two more of these picks. Let's take a look at D line now. This is really the only guy that I see here that makes sense. Ki Ki Iris. Kyrus? Ki Ki Iris. Curious. Curious. George. We also have Teron Hurd here. Okay, okay. It's either Curious Edmonds or Teron Hurd. He has no speed. I don't like that because that's exactly what Walton is. I think I'm gonna go Curious Edmonds here. Second first round pick, we're picking Curious Edmonds. Come on, please be a good player. Five star potential. Okay, I'm killing it right now. I am actually nuts. Oh my goodness. Okay, this is a great pick. Curious Edmonds. Please, Curious, man. Bring the best out of Walton, man. Come on. Don't be another bust first round D lineman, man. I've already drafted two. And with the last pick in the first round, ladies and gentlemen, I think I'm gonna do it. I am going to be picking up two quarterbacks. I want QB competition for the number one QB spot in the Bay Area. So with our last first round pick in the Retro Bowl draft, the San Francisco 49ers select JJ Amadi. Welcome to the squad, JJ. All out QB battle between the two. Let's take a look at JJ Amadi. Oh, four star, okay. That might not be good, but who knows? Maybe he's a hooper, we never know, okay? But Quattro Spriggs, that was an insane pick. You guys can't laugh. That was actually nuts. No scouting, that was kind of crazy. Come on. But here's the problem now. We still have a second round pick and we have a third. We only have $8 million in cap space. Let's take a look at the draft board right here. Yeah, we're not gonna be able to afford a lot of these guys on the board. We could pick up another tight end to pair up with Camaro here. Randy Fluker, Lorenzo Bosa. Bosa? That's a Bosa? Ooh, or we could pair up Ham with a DB. Alshon Pallardi? Man, okay, um... We also have Tanzel Asafa. His name's Tanzel. Wait, I feel like I have to take him. His name is Tanzel. That's literally Tanzel. Or should we take a third quarterback? Yes, you're late. Look at those stats. He might be a franchise QB. Okay, no, no, no. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Okay, okay, okay. Let me think. You know, a tight end is a quarterback's best friend. Camaro's really good. He's, he's probably the best in the league, but a second tight end like Lorenzo Bosa might not be bad. Velarde, Ijalana. Oh, they're good DBs too, man. He's got a lot of speed. Could pair him up with Ham, but Ham was holding it down. You know what, man? I'm gonna go with another tight end. We're gonna make our rookie QBs feel more comfortable in this offense, alright? So it's between Lorenzo Bosa and Randy Fluker. What kind of catching is that? Why would I pick this guy? This is an easy one for me, alright? I'm going with Lorenzo Bosa, alright? He's the third Bosa brother. Here we go. Second round pick, Lorenzo Bosa. Get on the squad. Come on. Please be good. Please be good. Please be good. Three and a half star. Okay, okay. It's not bad. It's not terrible. Ah, uh, it's pretty terrible. But he's got good stats, alright? He's got good speed. He's already got good catching. That's really all you need from a tight end, alright? Third round pick. We can't pick anybody here. There's two DBs left here. I'm just gonna scout them to see what I would have gotten. Oh my god, I would have gotten a four star DB. Oh, I should have taken a DB. What about Asafo? Three and a half star. Okay. Oh, that's not good. What else is on the board? Morgan. Oh, four star. Oh my. Lorenzo, man, you better pay off for me, man. We're gonna trade the third round pick. And the draft is over and the season can begin. We've built a five star offense. I think this is the first time. Time I've ever had a five-star offense. So there you guys go. Here is the full 12-man roster. Comments, I need your help. Who starts week one? JJ Amati or Quattro Springs? Let me know in the comments down below, and I'll see you next video. Leave a like on the video if you guys enjoyed. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you are new, I will be giving away a million dollars to every person who clicks the subscribe button. So um, if you subscribe, you're pretty much Jeff Bezos.